Okay, so I'm going to give you a tour of the Capital Spreads um, interface. Now, the first thing to say about Capital Spreads is that it's one of the largest um, uh, spread betting providers around. Um, it's based in London. Um, it's been around for a long time. A lot of the um, other websites that you see around um, are, are often white labels of Capital Spreads. So it has a big white label business. Um, but here we're in the Capital Spreads itself. So this is the this is the um, the original kind of a product, if you will. Um, the first thing you see after being um, after logging in is a uh, list of all the popular markets. So these are what um, Capital Spreads um, considers to be the, um, the the kind of most popular um, instruments uh, to trade at the moment. So you can see Barclays is up there. Um, Apple, of course, is kind of permanently in this uh, popular markets list, as is Google. Um, you've got some of the um, commodities and some of the uh, popular Forex pairs as well. Um, some of these um, are obviously closed at the time we're making this video. Um, and you can see uh, you know, them ticking up and down in real time, so red, flashing red if they're dropping and uh, flashing blue if they're going up. Um, and you, clicking on uh, any one of these, you're able to see uh, information about it and um, bring, up the, bring up the charts as well. So let me give you a quick um, just a rundown of what kind of uh, markets there are, uh, you have on offer at Capital Spreads. So we go into the indices, and you can see all the main uh, indices listed here, uh, the, the France 40, the Germ Germany 30. Um, they're not, as, as is common with, with all the spread betting providers, um, Capital Spreads doesn't use the brand name, so it doesn't call it the FTSE 100, it calls it the UK 100. Um, it doesn't call it the Fortune 500, it will call it the US uh, 500. That's just for copyright reasons, but the, the market is made in exactly the same way. Um, so we have all the, um, all the uh, indices here. What some people like to do is trade the difference between two markets that they uh, believe uh, tend to move in a predictable pattern. So, for instance, um, the uh, Germany 30 and the France 40. Um, what you would normally have to do is buy one and sell the other, but what Capital Spreads will let you do is um, it, it's actually built that into a market or kind of ready-made for you, so you can buy or sell this as you please. Similarly, you might like to bet on the difference between Wall Street and uh, the UK 100, and this makes it really easy to do that here. Um, one thing that Capital Spreads offers is sectors, so rather than picking big companies within the uh, automotive industry or the uh, the uh, insurance or financial services industry to kind of get a try and capture movement in that market. You can actually just uh, place bets on um, sectors themselves, which Capital Spreads has helpfully rolled into uh, instruments. So we can, uh, and they're all on a, offered on a quarterly basis. So you can see uh, European utilities. The next um, market that's closing is in June, and uh, you know you can trade that if you. Click for information. You can see um, what the minimum stake is, um, what is actually a uh, considered a pip, um, and whether it offers guaranteed stops. So, um, and you can see some of the more uh, exotic indices as well listed here. Some of them you'll notice have a little telephone telephone icon. That's because they're um, they're not offered for um, uh, trading online. You have to call up. Uh, you have to call a broker. So, Capital Spreads also offers quite a wide range of Forex. You have the major FX, uh, the miners, and some of the more uh, exotic currency pairings as well. This is this is kind of as you'd expect to see, really, um, in a trading platform, so nothing too surprising there. Um, again, um, you've got all your uh, individual shares listed here. Top UK companies listed alphabetically. Um, we can scroll down and uh, you can also search for the one you're interested in and bring that straight up. Um, as well as individual as well as individual shares, you have your um, let's just bring that back up. So you've got UK one hundred, um, the next 250 companies after that. Um, the, the FTSE 250 is not the biggest 250 companies in um, in the UK. It's actually 
the biggest 250 after the UK 100. So it's really a list of the um, 101st biggest company to uh, the 351st biggest company. Um, so just uh, in case you hadn't realised. Um, Capital Spreads also offer some small caps as well. Um, if we just click on here, we can see what some of them are. Yeah, so so nothing too nothing too surprising here. One one thing that it will actually make you um do is subscribe to see some of these um share prices. It won't actually show you them um in real time. So capital spreads uh asks you to um go into the um market information center. Uh go into sorry, go into the my account area and actually subscribe to see these prices. Now a lot of them are actually free, so I'm not sure why it does that, but um, you can see we've subscribed to this one um, to show you how it works and um, we can see that um, trading up and down in real time there. So that's just something to be aware of if you're looking at the small caps. Um, then fairly kind of a standard range of markets, you've got your uh, US blue chips all organised here. Um, so uh, 3M, Adobe, um, all the usual suspects. Um, you've got international markets as well, um, so Spanish shares, um, BBVA, um, Indian shares. Pretty straightforward. Capital Spreads does um, actually offer um, some specials as well. Now, these are not kind of like the Paddy Power specials where you'll bet on who will be uh, who will win Big Brother. Um, these are um, betting on. Float often usually betting on flotations that have yet to take place. So, um, what will be the market cap of uh, Zoopla, the um, the uh, housing information website? What will be the market cap of Alibaba, the um, you know the kind of a B two B auctions website? Um, you can bet on uh, you, you know that they're offering a spread uh, in the platform. Um, finally, you've also got your bonds uh, and your interest rates as well that you can bet on. Commodities too, so energy, metals, soft grains. So let's let's just go into um for example into um into cotton and just see uh what we can do here. There's there's two um there's two buttons really. There's trade and order. You'd click trade if you're looking to execute a trade right now at whatever the market price is, and you'd click order if you wanted to kind of dial in or program in a trade to be executed at a later date. When certain conditions are met, let's just let's just look at the trading ticket for the uh, first of all. So you can see we can set what set set our stake size. Um, so five pounds per point. We can place our stop a certain number of points away. Um, we can decide if we want it to be a if we want to pay extra to have a guaranteed stop. Uh, if we do click guaranteed, then it's going to make us. Um, have a uh, stop a little bit, make our stop a little bit wider. Um, we can also set a trailing stop in some markets. Um, so you're also able to set a trailing stop. Um, if you set a trailing stop, you'll notice that you can't have a guaranteed stop. A trailing stop is where you uh, tell it to lock in a certain amount of profit and then sell if it um, if it dips back down and threatens to wipe out your profit. So the other button to be aware of is the order. So often um, you may not be kind of happy with the price uh, currently. You know, we might think um, we might not want to buy at 86. We might only be interested in this if it if it dips to 80. So we could say, okay, we want to um, we're interested in getting in to cotton at the level of uh, 80, and um, we can kind of submit that order. And say, okay, well, this order is going is good until we cancel it, until we until we tell you otherwise, or this order is only good until the end of the day, or this we can actually set a, a date when that will expire, and a time when that when that will expire. So um, so you've got two buttons to be aware of. Trade is for executing a trade instantly. You're going to take whatever the the price is, and order is for some future date. It's always worth checking out the. Uh, Market information as well. If um, even if you've used, even if you've traded um, this instrument on other platforms, because 
some conditions can change from provider to provider. So for instance, your maximum and minimum stake, um, you, your underlying unit risk as well. Like what exactly when they say a point, what does that mean? That'll that'll tell you. Um, you can it tells you what what you'll pay for a guaranteed stop. So in this in this um, instance, you're paying an extra two points to have a, a guaranteed stop, and it will tell you what the guarantee, what the minimum distance is that you have to set your stop in order for it to be guaranteed. Um, in terms of charting, Capital Spreads um, is quite proud of its charts, uh, justifiably so. Um, let's just load that up. So we can actually, if you if we think this is too small, we can click this and break them out into a. Uh, into a larger window. So we can s set the granularity. So by default, it's one minute. You might be someone who look, prefers to look at the thirty-minute chart. You might be someone who prefers to look at the uh, at the uh, day chart. And you would uh, just drag the timeline out a little bit so you can see more data. Um, so this takes a little bit of setting up, but you click on chart settings and you're able to add um, any overlays that you want. So we can you can add your um, add your uh, any indicators uh, that you fancy. So the MACD, um, you can set a color for it as well. Okay. And you're able to kind of um, drag these up and down to to reorder them. Um, you can just decide how you want this to be split, displayed. So candle or line, um, and you know what kind of resolution you're looking for. Um, and you can save your settings as well, so you don't have to go back in and um, change, uh, set it back up every time you look at an instrument. Um, so the charts charts are really powerful in uh, in capital spreads. Let's just go back to the trading interface. Down here is where your you can see your open PL. So you can see we've got um, uh, an open trade in Barclays that's um, got a small profit, uh, three pounds, and we can see we've got a trade in Bwin, um, which has got a small showing a small loss, and we can uh, amend or close those um, uh, as we feel like it. So if you double click that, you can kind of see um, where our stop level is. Um, we can we can kind of perform any kind of action we want on here, but we're going to leave that uh, going for a little while. Um, so the buttons at the top here, we, we can kind of um, create watch lists. So if we know there's something we do want to monitor, if, the, if we know there's a share that we're really kind of keen on uh, paying attention to, we can add it to our watch list. So you can see in the popular market, it, so you can see in the watch lists, it tends to... Um, pre-populate this with all the most popular markets. It is possible to add your own ones here. Um, we've actually created a little uh, special one called gambling stocks. So let's go and add that add to that now. Like we might want to add 888 to that. So we'll add the rolling daily. Um, we'll click it and add it to our watch list of gambling stocks. Ooh. There we go. Um, let's say we wanted Labrooks in there. Again, we just add that to our gambling stocks watch list. Uh, and there they are. Um, capital spreads also have, gives you kind of news feeds as well. How useful these are depends on what kind of trader you are. So feel free to uh, pay attention to them or, or ignore them as, um, as as you feel like. Um, so let, let's let's kind of show you just how making a trade works now. Okay, so you can see we're back here uh, a few days later, and we uh, we're going to see how our positions have performed. Um, so we can see the, our uh, BWIN bet didn't do so well that we've lost, um, so far we've lost £18 on that. Um, however, our Barclays um, uh, bet uh, on the Barclays rolling daily, um, that's performed well, so we've made a profit of uh, £38, just over £38 there. Um, so that's about a £20 profit overall from these two positions. So actually, um, this, this kind of, um, it's very easy to kind of close out these positions now. Um, if we wanted to, we could amend our stop loss. Um, we could amend our stop loss on the Barclays trade and kind of, kind of lock in our profit. But what I think we're going to do is just close out these positions now. 
So we're going to take our loss here. Uh, we're not going to leave that rolling any longer. So all I have to do is click close, and um, it automatically uh, fills in fills in the ticket for me here. You can see it selected a cell, and um, I'm going to do that right now. There we go. So that trade's now closed, and um, I'm going to also close out this trade as well. And you can see once again it's kind of pre-populated this field with the correct uh, um, signal. So buy. I'm going to click that, and our trade is now closed.